with lots of entertainment. And this is a Sony Vegas tutorial on how to chrome key your green screen or whatever screen you're using. Blue screen. Um, uh, <laughs> you could be using your wall, whatever color that is. You can pretty much use whatever you want for your green screen, but I use a green screen. Also known as a sheet from Walmart hanging on my wall. It's actually fabric y kind of stuff. Okay, so as an example, I will use a clip from my last video. Um, uh, the my follower song for Tie the Pug video. And I believe that this is the clip. Oh, nope, it's not. I'll pause. Alright, here it is. I found it. And, um, okay, so in this window here, you can see me in front of the green screen, of course. And so, take it from where you'd like it to start at. Okay, I'll start it here. Split. Delete. Now, I'll just end it here. Delete. Now, how to chroma key it. So you go here, you'll see this little event effects button. Click that. You go in there and look, and there should be Sony chroma keyer. Or if you have another program with chroma key, you could use that. But this is how to chroma key with Sony. Now, you take this little eye dropper thingy and you click on your green screen where it looks like the color seems to be the most the same. Now click show mask only, bring high threshold all the way down, adjust your high threshold so it's mostly just you and then you can see the green screen a little bit. And now adjust the green levels until you can pretty much just see you and then everything else and the green screen is completely black is what you want. Now you can uncheck show mask only and you can see how it looks. and not that great but it's good enough yeah it seems good and so to make it look a little bit better than that adjust the blur amount a little bit not too much otherwise uh, you'll be a little bit see-through and get a weird kind of glowy effect around you and now insert a new video track and take a picture that you want to put under you or a video or whatever I'll take a picture of Ty and put it in the background, kind of like what I did in the video. There it is. And now I'm in front of him. Now, to get rid of everything else in the shot but me, go here to pan slash crop, or event pan slash crop, and you can do that, like that, bring that in. But I don't do that, because... I prefer not to. I mask it instead. So you check mask so it's enabled. Then you go up here to anchor creation tool and you check just below the bottom corner right here of your green screen. Then up at the top or wherever you have to to just to make sure you get rid of everything else. And then complete the circle or square and there you go. That's how you do it. It's pretty fancy, isn't it? And now I'm on a green screen doing some crap. Yeah. So, thank you for watching this tutorial. And I hope it helped you such a large amount that it's good. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>